Greeting to our viewers, it is an honor for me, Phương Thảo, to always accompany you and bring the news bulletin on 22 our channel. The news provides updates on the hottest and most accurate information about the security, order, and social situation that have occurred during the day. The following will be the main news. Ladies and gentlemen, Typhoon Cannon is about to make landfall in China China closed ports and railways before Typhoon and Fa made landfall as the country is still dealing with the consequences of floods. Sinhu News Agency reported today that Typhoon Cannon is expected to make landfall in the eastern coastal province of Zhejiang on August 5. Chinese authorities have issued a level 3 warning for the storm and ordered the closure of ports and railways in the area where the storm is likely to make landfall. To prevent the effects of Typhoon and Far, Shanghai authorities closed a number of public parks and museums and warned people to stop large-scale gatherings both indoors and outdoors. More than 150 ships, both passenger and cargo ships, have been evacuated from the area. As of today, the center of Infa is located in a coastal area about 640 kilometers southeast of Shangshan, Zhejiang province. The storm is moving northwest at about 15 kilometers per hour. In Fai's forecast to bring heavy rain to areas in Zhejiang, Shanghai and Taiwan. Typhoon and Fa made landfall in China in the context that Anan province, central Vietnam, has just suffered a record flood of rain that has killed at least 58 people. Hainan authorities are gradually disposing of the wreckage and recirculating the roads filled with vehicles and furniture swept away by the flood. The flood is considered once in a thousand years in Hanam affecting millions of people and causing billions of dollars in damage. Henan's emergency response official pledged that the government would do large-scale cleaning and disinfection to ensure no disease outbreaks after the natural disaster. Chinese media warned that Typhoon and Fa's landfall could bring torrential downpours to parts of Henan province in the coming days. The second great disaster continues to hit China's head when yesterday, the country's news agency reported that a heavy rainstorm continued to sweep the capital Beijing, causing the house of Mr. Flooded to the roof. A five-star resort of Mr. Xi's sister, about 60 kilometers south of Beijing, was also destroyed by hail. Many people believe that God continues to rise up to punish the government of Mr. Xi Jinping, because yesterday he still sent aircraft and warships close to Vietnam's Hong Sa archipelago off the East Sea, despite warnings of the world. This is the cause and reason why Mother Nature, Heaven and Earth, continued to wait for the rains to come and destroy Xi's brother's house as well as his sister's resort. Ladies and gentlemen, according to China's central television CCTV yesterday, in a weather forecast report that the No. 1 flood has not yet passed, yesterday China continued to suffer the No. 1 flood. 2. As the water flow into the Three Gorges Dam increases rapidly, reaching 53,000 cubic meters per second and it is expected that the water flow into the Three Gorges Dam can reach a peak of 59,000 cubic meters per second. Cities such as Wuhan, Sichuan, Anhui, Zhejiang, Shanghai and southern parts of China continue to be submerged in water. Currently, these places are still raising the alert level to the red scale. This is the highest warning level for floods, according to Chinese state media. As of yesterday, China has suffered the 50th consecutive day of heavy rains and high winds, causing water levels in many rivers in China to rise, and flooding 1995 high-rise buildings, 153 people, dead and missing. Bridges, roads, hospitals, schools are isolated. Meanwhile, the water level in Peiyang Lake, Jiangxi Province, China's largest freshwater lake connected to the Yangtze River, is also 2.5 meters higher than the warning level. Some dikes around Baduong Lake have also been broken due to massive flood water flowing through, engulfing all surrounding houses. Taihe Lake in the city of Shanghai also had to be on red alert, after the water rose more than one meter above the safe level. In that context, many experts say that this year is a year of great disaster for China. According to the prophets, from now until the end of the year, China will continue to suffer a lot of calamities that God strikes. China has seriously affected the global supply chain. At the beginning of the year, the COVID-19 epidemic raged, now it's floods. The earthquake in China is said to be the cause of disaster for the world, causing not a light disturbance to this humanity. And so far, at least 4.6 million people in China have been forced to leave their homes. 
According to the South China Morning Post, the mouthpiece of the Communist Party of China, the day before yesterday floods knocked down the 10-store building. This is the private house that is confirmed to belong to Ms. Hua Chenying, former spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China. Yesterday, floods continued to submerge a nine-story house belonging to Mr. Xi Jinping's younger brother and flatten a five-star resort toned by his sister. Faced with the above alarming situation and urgency, Xi Jinping is said to have urgently convened high-ranking officials of Beijing to hold an emergency meeting yesterday night to discuss and discuss plan for flood prevention. Because according to the China Central Hydrometeorological Administration, tonight until the end of the month and into the first half of next month, China will continue to have heavy to very heavy rains. The water in the upstream places is still pouring in, and the sky is still pouring down on China. In addition, there are extreme weather phenomena such as thunder, earthquakes and hail. Therefore, the head office of Mr. Xi Jinping had to hold an urgent meeting yesterday night. The China Morning Post, one of China's most famous newspapers, wrote that flood water at the Three Gorges Dam exceeded the red warning level by 12 meters, Mr. Xi called an emergency meeting. The other day China convened an emergency meeting on flood prevention and disaster relief under the direct chairmanship of the head of the Communist Party of China, Mr. Xi Jinping. According to the Yangtze River Water Resources Commission, the river basin will receive heavy downpours and heavy rains. Water flowing into the Three Gorges Dam will increasingly put great pressure on flood control in China. And recently, China convened an emergency meeting on flood prevention and relief and genius relief under the chairmanship of the head of the Chinese government, Mr. Xi. Mr. Xi pointed out that since the beginning of the month until now, China's agencies have been working relatively well to deal with floods and have achieved initial satisfactory results. Mr. Xi emphasized that flood prevention and relief has an important impact on people's lives and property, and is also a matter of national security. According to the Chinese president, flood control is entering the most important stage. Heavy rain in the Yangtze River area is very severe. The Three Gorges Dam is in danger of breaking. He asked the relevant authorities to strengthen coordination with the people to prevent and control floods in the most effective way. She added that local governments should uphold their sense of responsibility in flood prevention and relief and disaster relief and put the safety of people's lives and health first. Forecasting for floods and secondary disasters must be improved, protection of dikes and critical infrastructure must be enhanced, and water conservation projects must be properly operated. It is necessary to coordinate epidemic prevention and control and relief and rescue work throughout China. In the context of complicated floods in China, the two most affected localities are Jiangxi Province and Hubei Province, where the Three Gorges Dam and the Yangtze River flow through. Ladies and gentlemen, it is said that it is extremely unreasonable that the domestic situation of China is heavy rain, high winds, earthquakes and flash floods that have caused a lot of houses to be submerged in people's lives. People are falling into a situation where the sky and earth are falling, medicine is in short supply, epidemics are raging, and food is running out. However, Xi Jinping's government continues to defiantly send warships and aircraft out into the South China Sea. Here. It is close to the Hong Sar archipelago of Vietnam, causing a lot of frustration for countries in Southeast Asia as well as countries around the world, including the US. According to ABC News, one of the news sites specializing in tracking the path of ships as well as activities in the South China Sea, has provided satellite images showing that China may have sent four planes and ships. The war close to the Paracel Islands belonged to Vietnam sovereignty, but was illegally occupied by China. The Times magazine cited satellite images showing that at least four Chinese warplanes illegally flew over the Woody Islands in the Paracel Islands of Vietnam off the coast of the East Sea. This is considered extremely dangerous and extravagant behavior on the part of China, when continuously harassing in the Paracel Islands of Vietnam and other countries in Southeast Asia, as Yan has continuously raised its voice. Warning However, China ignored all the above warnings, constantly sending warships and aircraft out of the East Sea, close to the Paracel Islands to practice firing live bullets as well as launching missiles, directly threatening the South China Sea, next to security and safety for the busiest maritime route in the world. Faced with that situation, the US, Japan, Korea, Australia, the European Union, 
Great Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal, including Russia, spoke out for Vietnam and chased them away. The Chinese side. However, Xi Jinping's administration has defiantly conducted the drills, despite China's domestic heavy rains, high winds, earthquakes and tsunamis, and direct threats to the country's health. From the Chinese side, spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Vietnam, Ms. Li Thi Thu Thu Hang emphasized that, I would like to reiterate that Vietnam has full legal basis and historical evidence to affirm the two archipelagos of Hong Sa and Trang Sa. Entirely Vietnamese and it is in accordance with international law. Vietnam believes that acts that cause insecurity and safety in the East Sea are contrary to international commitments. We believe that all nations have a common obligation and interest in respecting the fundamental principles of international law as well as the Charter of the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. The Chinese side should immediately stop its expansionist, aggressive, bullying and unruly actions outside the South China Sea immediately, otherwise the price in China will be considered very high. The representative of the U.S. Department of State also said that the images of Chinese aircraft appeared in the South China Sea in the context of the U.S. Pacific Fleet dispatching to combat aircraft carrier groups. Named USS Theodore Roosevelt and USS Carl Vincent are conducting joint exercises in the East Sea with countries in the region. And this is the second time in less than a week that the U.S. Navy has conducted joint exercises to ensure commitment to both allies and partners in the region on an Asian region. The Pacific is stable and secure. The U.S. also said that it would protect Vietnam in the context that the Chinese side continuously increased pressure. The U.S. considers Vietnam to be the number one reliable partner in Southeast Asia. Currently, the U.S. Pacific Fleet is firing live ammunition and launching missiles to send a strong message to the Chinese government that China should immediately stop its unreasonable actions in the South China Sea. Otherwise, the United States, together with some countries in Southeast Asia, will take action to punish China and related to the problems of rain and floods as well as about the East Sea. We will continue to update you and the next newsletter. And today's program we would like to pause here. Wishing you a day full of health and happiness. Best regards and see you soon. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. Please like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification to receive the fastest and most accurate update from the channel. Thank you and goodbye. See you in the upcoming this video.